Hi everyone, my name is Hua Duan and I'm the head of impact and sustainability at Nopla. Hi everyone, I'm Louise Anderson, I'm the research director at Nopla. And today we're going to talk about Nopla's recognitions under the EU's single-use plastic directive. So the EU single-use plastic directive was introduced in 2019 by the EU Commission and the aim for that is to reduce the environmental impact of a certain number of single-use plastic items and each EU member state has a different, uh, slightly different way of recognising and also applying the single-use directive and uh, today we're going to chat about how the single-use directive has impacted Nopla. Yeah, so about 10 months ago, we began engaging with the ILT. Uh, so that is the regulatory body in the Dutch government that's responsible for enforcing the single-use plastics directive. So we actually have a lot of interest within the Netherlands to switch towards more sustainable packaging. So a lot of our um, companies that we're engaging with came to us and said, you need to speak to the ILT. And from that moment on, we basically set up a bit of an ILT task force. So internally, we actually had a team of myself and a few other team members looking at how we can prove that we're not a single-use plastic. So the Dutch government has provided a very strict interpretation of what is plastic. And this means that it has closed a lot of loopholes around some of the materials and packaging um, on the market that is currently uh, advertising as plastic free but actually still contain plastic within them. So in terms of this very strict interpretation, it means that any packaging that has been assessed as containing plastic will be subjected to a ban and also a tax on all these packaging items, most notably plastic cups but also plastic uh, takeaway uh, boxes as well. So this has been a nine month process of us engaging with the ILT, kind of disclosing what the ingredients are used in our formulation and going through a series of iterations of tests and proving and demonstrating that our materials, our ingredients are taken from nature, they're processed into our product and they're very similar to what was in nature and there's no chemical modification that occurs. Um, and from that we engaged with a lot of independent labs, independent experts, we got statements to back up what we were claiming. Um, and very happy that towards the end we managed to get the ILT to really understand that our solution is truly natural, it does come from seaweed, and that there's nothing that happens within our process that converts it into a, a plastic. So after the nine months process we were very happy to receive the seal of approval from the ILT, being that we are the only plastic-free packaging solutions in the Dutch market and this is even better that it's under the strictest assessment um, of the single-use directive. So this is really great because it means under this strictest interpretation we've been classified as plastic free and that means it opens up the door to every other market within Europe where there's perhaps a, a less stringent kind of process to go through. We've been able to demonstrate it once so we can now basically uh, push our solution into other markets whereby there's going to be no taxes, no bans um, on our material because we've been distinguished as one of the only materials that can be not a single use plastic. So now that our solution is technically ready um, and also has got this seal of approval within the Netherlands, it means that big distributors like Compax, who are present within the Benelux region, they can actually use our solution across their region. They will take our packaging in terms of the board, but also as in the final product and pass it on to their range of clients and consumers that they have on their books. So this is excellent news for us because it is really helping us moving closer to our missions of really tackling um, plastic pollution but also removing plastic from packaging. So we are very delighted with this decision and we're really hoping that over the next few months we're going to be able to help many, many more businesses in terms of improving their packaging and be compliant with the single-use plastic directive.